Now I, as God, know what I am seeking to be. I therefore know what is best for me. And what is that? Tell me, what is best for God? This ought to be interesting. What is best for me is giving you what you decide is best for you. Because what I am trying to be is myself expressed, and I am being this through you. Are you following this? Yes. Believe it or not, I actually am. Good. Now I will tell you something you may find difficult to believe. I'm always giving you what is best for you, though I admit that you may not always know it. This mystery clears up a bit now that you begin to understand what I'm up to. I am God. I am the goddess. I am the supreme being. The all of everything. The beginning and the end. The alpha and omega. I am the sum and the substance. The question and the answer. The up and the down of it. The left and the right. The here and the now. The before and the after. I am the light. And I am the darkness that creates the light and makes it possible. I am the goodness without end and the badness which makes the goodness good. I am all of these things, the all of everything, and I cannot experience any part of myself without experiencing all of myself. And this is what you do not understand about me. You want to make me the one and not the other, the high and not the low, the good and not the bad. Yet in denying half of me, you deny half of yourself. And in so doing, you can never be who you really are. I am the magnificent everything, and what I am seeking is to know myself experientially. I am doing this through you and through everything else that exists. And I am experiencing myself as magnificent through the choices I make, for each choice is self-creative. Each choice is definitive. Each choice represents me, that is, represents me as who I choose to be right now. Yet I cannot choose to be magnificent unless there is something to choose from. Some part of me must be less than magnificent for me to choose the part of me which is magnificent. So too is it with you. I am God in the act of creating myself. And so too are you. This is what your soul longs to do. This is that for which your spirit hungers. Were I to stop you from having what you choose, I would stop myself from having what I choose. For my greatest desire is to experience myself as what I am. And as I carefully and painstakingly explained in Book One, I can only do that in the space of what I am not. And so, I have carefully created what I am not in order that I might experience what I am. Yet I am everything I create. Therefore, I am, in a sense, what I am not. Whoa, how can someone be what they are not? Easy, you do it all the time. <laughs> Just watch your behaviors. <laughs> Seek to understand this. There is nothing that I am not. Therefore, I am what I am, and I am what I am not. This is the divine dichotomy. This is the divine mystery which, until now, only the most sublime minds could understand. I have revealed it for you here in a way that more can understand. 